Now we can go to the abandoned station, Jirai Station. Strabo system? That's in the same nebula, right? I think so. It might be the next system over. Strabo... Yeah, it's over there. Okay, we'll check it out after mining the rest of these planets dry. Sobek! Oh my god, this is long. Wait. Oh, Sobek. For some reason, I was thinking of Horizon Zero Dawn for a second, because there's a character named Elizabeth Sobek, right? But then this game came out before Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> hydrogen, nitrogen gas giant. Site of many Batarian labor camps during the Anher rebellions. When the slaves were finally liberated by Eclipse, the mercenaries found abysmal conditions, including whole camps that lacked mass effect fields to keep the gravity at habitable levels. The plight of the slaves soon garnered galactic media attention, and several charities sprang up to pay for their physical therapy and find them gainful employment. Eclipse, normally reviled for their cutthroat tactics and criminal employees, found themselves painted as heroes. The mercenary company still retains an office on Sobek's moon, Heket, out of nostalgia, as much as a business strategy. Making yourself look good, that's part of business. Probe launched. All right. You know, one thing that I'm kind of curious about that we never learned is what happened between the Batarians and the humans. Back in the DLC in the first Mass Effect, that one Batarian was so angry, but I don't really know what happened. And the Anher Rebellions, I don't know what happened here either. A Garden World, Anher. Oh, Anher Rebellions. Anher was home to one of the ugliest violations of sapien rights in modern human history. A consortium of corporations and corrupt politicians, fearing Batarian economic competition, due to their custom of legal slavery, passed a resolution that abolished the minimum wage, effectively re-legalizing slavery on a human-dominated world. Oh, maybe this is part of it. And then suddenly... Not suddenly. Quickly. Quickly, a war broke out. A civil war. One side wants to end slavery, the other wants to continue it. The Batarians wanted to continue to keep their slaves, and the war lasted for two years. The Batarians had a significant advantage in ships, labor, and weapons, forcing Anher militia to hire mercenary companies to even out the odds. In the end, the abolitionists won out, though at the cost of infrastructure. Today, it's still got some significant natural wealth, but it is economically depressed, save for the reconstruction industry. Pretty big population here. 208 million, oh my god. Wait, this is a big planet then. It's got Ezo! Probe launched. A lot of the green looking planets have Ezo. And her rebellions. Maybe that's exactly what happened with the Batarians and humans. Bast! Its moons served as Eclipse Mercenary Company's fallback position after the defeat on Neath. This system has a lot of war. Launching probe. Poor, but I still want it all. Thank you very much. Oops. Mm-hmm. Sekhmet. This gas giant was believed to have entered the system with a lot within the last billion years. It was the site of an important battle in the Anher rebellions. When the Eclipse Mercenary Company sought to capture re the refueling stations to deny the rebel supplies, a fighter wing hiding in Sekhmet's rings ambushed them. And then Eclipse lost a lot of people, but destroyed two rebel carriers and forced them to retreat into FTL. This was considered the high watermark of a rebellion. At no point after the Battle of Sekhmet did the rebels have a victory. Today, this is home to refueling stations and a small war memorial in orbit at the planet's L5 Lagrange point. Probe. Thank you very much. And now those numbers just look disgusting. The resource numbers. We are gonna be rich! We should sell some of this to other people. Let's go to Malgus first. Yeah? Fuel reserves at 50%. I'm just listening to the music right now. Is it kind of overlapping or something? Yeah, now it's quiet. 
sounded a little bit funny earlier. Malgus. Rill. A planet only a Vorcha could love. Rill is notable for its near-miss climate, punishing heat, and a thin, toxic methane ethane atmosphere. It's got Krogan and Vorcha here. Travel advisory. Krogan can survive in the heat, using a mask, but other species need environmental suits. There is water here, which can help with the heat, but it's not potable without processing. Alliance Bulletin. Large-scale gang warfare. A regular occurrence. Civilian travel. Not advised. Probe launched. Beautiful. Is it okay that we're going this close to the sun? <laughs> Uzin. Named for one of the many Krogan gods of vengeance, Uzin is a gas giant close enough to its orange sun that none of its moons are considered habitable. A lot of Krogans here. It's well within the frost line where gas giants usually don't form, leading astronomers to believe its orbit used to be further from the star. If so, this would mean that the orbit is seriously unstable and the planet may plunge into its star within a few million years. I want to say that's not our problem, but it's not the humans' problem. It's not one singular human's problem, but people like Asari, Krogan, people that live longer probably care a little bit more. A million years from now, though, who even knows if the Krogan will still be around? At this rate, no, they won't be. Flat, uninhabitable by most species, but the blood packs Vorcha training and breeding grounds are here. They train, oh, the blood packs train their people here. Travel advisory, Flat spaceports are wholly owned subsidiaries of the blood pack mercenary company, a corporation undergoing numerous criminal investigations for capital crimes. Don't go here. Probe launched. Mm hmm Great. Oh, look at how fast this is going now. This is wonderful. Thank you. Okay, we should probably go home for a little bit more fuel. Uh-huh. And I'll spend some extra money on probes because, you know, we're saving a little bit of money unfairly with the mod. Sure. Strabo. Investigate abandoned station. Of the um, ship that we just saw. Jirahi Station. Oh, there's just one planet here? Antigar. Charted by a Salarian mining expedition that went off course due to computer error. It's got 11 moons and dusty rings. Probe launched. Very quiet system. Perfect place for something illicit to be happening here. 50%. Jirai Station, site intel retrieved. Data mining confirms that the last reported location of the merchant freighter MSV Corsica is a Jirai Station in the Strabo system. This might be why it crashed. What kind of squad mates would synergize well? We have a few biotics here. Miranda, Jacob, Jack, Kasumi? Kasumi is more of an infiltrator like me, right? Mm. I know Miranda and Jacob can do the whole polling and warp thing, so maybe I'll try that out again. Oh my god. This is a murder. This is a murder. So just to check again... Jacob's pole, and then Miranda's was it warp or overload? We'll try both, maybe. I've only done it once. Dr. Galwind, 
In my suggestion, we have cut power to all systems, save critical life support, in hopes that disabling these systems will deny the VI the resources she needs to kill us. This is a temporary solution. We cannot last this out on our own. Dr. Tallison. Ah, it wasn't the ship captain being weird by disabling the VI. It was the VI that's being weird, which is why the captain was disabling it. Oh no. Locked by station VI. This is gonna be like the Luna VI again, maybe. I mean, the last time we saw a VI, that Luna VI, it was turning sentient. It was turning into an AI. If it's really such a simple chatbot, like a VI normally is, why would it go rogue? Docking area power restored. And going rogue is exactly what I'm assuming happened here. Are requested to report to the cargo doors for immediate removal from station. It's recognized me. I am an intruder. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. You gonna attack me? Dr. Galwind, my firm belief is that the VI is paranoid about the possibility of infection. Its current homicidal behavior is likely out of an inflated desire to keep us from shutting it down. I believe that the VI is malfunctioning and that it believes our equipment to be infected by a virus. If we continue to try to shut her down, she will keep trying to destroy us. Maybe our only recourse is to do nothing and convince her we're not a threat. Okay, how did these people die? Some of them, we saw blood marks on the walls. Is there even oxygen here right now? I don't think so because I have my helmet on. I'm just gonna look around first. Engineering. Living quarters. Okay, a lot of places we can go to. I suppose. Oh, power outage in the station. Mainframe locked down for security purposes. I see. We gotta figure out how to turn it back on. The station's VI has access to stuff like turrets, bots. Attention all docks personnel, we are expecting a shipment of mech parts from the Hane Kedar facility on KPEC, Haskins Titan Nebula. Make sure the VI knows to accept the docking request from the freighter MSV Corsica. It didn't even make it here though. It got stranded elsewhere. Hey. Feel like I'm expecting a xenomorph to pop out of a window or something. Organics don't really have a self-destruct procedure. Two doors enabled. Oh, this is, uh, we have a map here. We are currently in the medical bay. All doors disabled. Can we turn everything Two on? All doors disabled. Two doors enabled. Five doors enabled. Okay, everything is on. These guys, did they kill themselves because they realized they were gonna um, starve to death? Classy Shepherd, stealing dead people's money wouldn't be the first time. MSV Corsica uh, Alliance? I don't know if these people are Alliance. We're in the Terminus systems after all. Just humans. Surprisingly, the Terminus systems, they make it sound like it's a lawless place when you're in the Citadel, but there's a lot going on here. 
pretty big population. I don't even know if the Citadel has the most people. You have been identified as a hostile. All intruders intentionally violating quarantine are requested to exit the station immediately. It's freaking me out more that you're not really doing anything concrete to stop me. You're just telling me, hey, stop. Plasma venting in progress. Attempting to reach the maintenance controls will most likely result in serious injury or death. Okay, got it. Oh, I can't quick save here. <laughs> okay. Kennings, I'm positive that the trouble with our VI started after the Corsica docked with us. Oh, it came here and left. Talison is looking into the VI itself. In the meantime, I need you to go through the logs and find out everything that was on the ship. Was the ship the problem? Was the interaction between the station and the ship the problem? Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Taking heavy fire! Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I'm d I'm just gonna... Yeah, okay, sorry guys. I'm trying to heal up too. Oh, they're down again. Just go, just go, just go. I don't know where the patterns are. Guys! That's a lot of metagel! Just one? All attempts to decontaminate station have failed. Require more power to escalate defenses. Okay, forget about Jacob for now. Okay, good. Welcome back, guys. Okay. That's not so good. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty, but it's scary when you look outside and you can see the galaxy like that. Because it's basically saying, hey, if this window breaks, you're all dead. VI? How angry are you with me on a scale of 1 to 10? How much metagel do I have left? Don't even know how to see. Oh, I have, uh, is it 2? Because the number 2 here. Mm hmm. What are you going to do about it? Oh gosh, what is this? Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Okay, where are we trying to get it to go? Reflective armor prototype repositioned. I think we're using this beam, but where do you want me to redirect it? In the middle here? In this seat? Or do we want to bring it here? No, that doesn't make sense, I don't think. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. This is gonna hit me soon. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Testing area has been unlocked. All personnel take this opportunity to leave the station immediately. Testing area. Okay. Is this open now? Testing area has been unlocked. Research lab. Docking bay. Well, we went to all four sides already. We came from one side. Testing area. Well, this is not open yet. Oh, maybe I just touched this. Hub area oh, restored. Central mainframe access 
granted. Such a dummy. Dark vessel detected. Attempting to upload central programming into docked vessel's mainframe. No, 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 you are a virus. You don't get to do that. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. This is a secure zone. Please leave this station immediately. I regret to inform you that all attempts to defend the station have failed. Shutting down security protocols. Oh man, that was pretty cool, atmospherically. Because the whole time I was expecting something to come out and beat us, but it was just a spooky space station where everybody was dead already. Deactivated the station security protocols, escaped. Money, money! Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Hold on, Kelly. What about the fish? Oh my god, was that two missions? Oh my god, frick. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Two small missions is okay? I genuinely forgot though. Earlier. So this, uh, this is something we gotta be careful about. Whew. Source of VI virus detected. From ED. Data from the quarantine VI at Jarahi Station indicates a possible source of the VI virus outbreak is a Hanhi Kedar facility on the planet Kapek. Coordinates have been downloaded into the galaxy map. Okay, well, the storyline continues because we still haven't found too much, huh? Titan Nebula. We'll keep it in mind. In the meantime, is there anything else? Yeah, that's pretty much the only one. Maybe later on we can do Firewalker too. We're actually getting pretty close. The Warlord is the last person we need to recruit. Okay. Oh, 100%. We're out of here. Now we go back to the Warlord. Last but not least. Oh, then I should have read the dossier just now. Hold on. Dr. Okir, millennia of combat and strategic experience, rumored familiarity with collector technology. A brilliant and brutal Krogan warlord who fought in the Krogan rebellions, Dr. Okir has become obsessed with saving the Krogan people from the genophage and is believed to have contacted the collectors in an attempt to gain the technology to that end. He is currently in a Blue Sun's camp on Corliss, though the nature of his relationship with the mercenary group is unknown. Doctor, another Krogan scientist? Oh, but he's contacting the collectors. Is he gonna help us? I'm not so sure about that. Why don't we go find Rex? Didn't the elusive man say that Rex is on Tuchanka? We just don't know. Like, he hasn't left the home planet in a while, but if I went to find him personally, maybe he'd be okay with joining us. A garbage Corliss. A garbage scout with a climate was how one Citadel Council member described Corliss at the turn of the century. And ever since then, Corliss Tourist Bureau has been attempting to rebrand their planet. Hasn't worked, though they have tried calling it the recycling center of the galaxy. <laughs> Corruption scandals and a staggering murder rate ensure that Corliss's image is permanently stained. Its biggest business is the recycling of decommissioned or junk spacecraft into their component parts. While the invention of Omnigel has made this process significantly cleaner, it is still a dirty business that chokes Corliss's sky with smog and fills its ports with megatons of scrap. A shady hospitality industry and a scavenger underclass round out the spectacle of urban decay. Corliss ranks second in murder per capita in the Terminus systems and first in off-worlder murder. Civilian traffic is encouraged to employ security professionals when visiting. That doesn't sound good. It's messed up, but if we're gonna meet a Krogan, I gotta bring Morden, right? And then... Maybe someone that a Krogan would like more? Jack! Jack, come with me. Let's bring you out. Let's meet some new people. We've got a little bit of money now, so we can go back to the Citadel sometime too. 
to get some new guns and whatnot. You don't need a gun, Jack. Ah, katana shotgun. Eviscerator shotgun. Okay. The dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Perfection is your goal. I already want to kill this person. Stay <laughs> focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Jack? No. Have some restraint. Just gonna beef up here and we will read about Corliss right now. Freedom's known as the Starcraft Cemetery. Corliss was the regional toxic junkyard for centuries. Ships reaching astronautical near death at connecting mass relays were sent to Corliss. Stripped of every useful component, then dumped planetward to clear shipping lanes. Currently, Corliss hosts numerous Merc factions, such as the Blue Suns, rumored to be using downed ship fossils to test advanced munitions. Massive gun batteries threaten anyone attempting planet fall, with minimal defenses against ground attack. Because ancient volcanism greenhoused the planet, Corliss was too hot and CO2 rich to develop a biosphere, despite the abundant lakes that could have sponsored the development of life. Now cool enough for protected habitation, but too scorching for anyone but extremophiles and mercenaries seeking secrecy, Corliss supports numerous Krogan outposts, the Krogan have therefore seeded Corliss with hardy Varen, often kept as warhounds. Varen live primarily on a diet of geophagus vermin and each other. Varen eat each other. Okay, this place is a wonderful paradise. Clearly everybody would want to live here. Yikes. Yeah, there's just random stuff happening, even though we're coming here. Is that a mercenary company? Lookout position, equipped for combat. Taking cover. Yup. <clears throat> Blue Suns. Fire. It's I'm possible that Okir is not here by choice. Oh, I forgot to think about how to synergize people. Is that all right? I can take you off. Freaking heck, Jack! What do you got? Shockwave, incinerate. Shockwave and incinerate probably don't synergize. Shit! Shit! I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. <laughs> I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. Okay, bye. I don't need you. <laughs> I've got a nice application of metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather, I just keep walking. Son of a bitch. I just. I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there, he, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. Jador? What's he talking about? Jador runs a, a Blue Suns outlier, and she's making Krogan for an army. But they all come out crazy, tough as hell, but just insane. Doesn't uh -oh. make sense. Breeding facility's too expensive, not worth the cost. I don't know. I, I just point and shoot and bank my credits. Maybe there's something better in the labs. Does this all have something to do with Dr. Okir being here? Breeding Krogans again? I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh... Patrol, the last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jadora will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There, you see? I'm helping. 
Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all this? We can't go in the labs, but everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy, mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. The doctor is trying to solve this genophage, and it looks like he's found a way. What is Jadora planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? You're lucky we don't have a Krogan in our team right now. <laughs> is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Funny. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation, legal and otherwise. Liquidation of the person? Fine for now. I think partially our sniper rifle damage is just kind of overwhelming. So it's really for like these little guys to um, feel the same on every difficulty level. Cool guys, be careful. Nice biotic skills from so far. Oh man. Get him. That's a Krogan, right? They're through my shields. Oh, but my shields go away much faster. Hmm? Flammable or inflammable. Forget what this I doesn't matter. Woo! Ah, excellent targeting. Who is looking at the guy next to him? Yeah. Oh god. It's just a planet of war. No, the Krogan aren't here yet. Haven't seen any of them, but uh... I might be creating some problems for you here. Gosh dang it. Reload. Oh, that person. That person is a heavy, right? I think they're the... Rocket kind of person. The one behind. Did I get her? Oh, there we go! Oh! oh, it's a homing missile! That was definitely homing. Gotta be very, very careful then. There's the Krogans. The Krogans don't know we're here yet, so we'll just take advantage of that. A guest! Yeah, Dr. Okir sounds like he was invited here. Yes, Krogan? Tank grown Krogan. Tank grown. Oh. world. Seven night cycles and I have felt only the need to kill. But you, something makes me speak. Seven what? He's a week old? Wow. They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread to kill. No, I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. 
Survival is what I hear in my head against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Last mother? The lab? You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. Interesting. Raised, then rejected. Control group, failed test? I don't know, but I am not perfect. Sounds like a failed test to me. This is not the same as solving the genophage though, because you're growing an army. You're breeding an army. It's not like, oh, Krogans are free to have babies and they grow up when they're like an infant to an adult. No, immediately out of the womb or out of the artificial womb, they are made to kill. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice, not like now, with ears, inside. I called it father. It liked that, but it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A breeding program, trying to escape genophage effects? Escape. Escape was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. If Mercenary was correct, Krogan prone to mental instability. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. Not strong enough, not fast enough. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? Uncertain, likely irrelevant, appears Okir has had no success. But there is a Krogan standing right in front of us. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The glass mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. You need a female Krogan for this, right? At least the beginning. <laughs> Rough stuff. I like it. Fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me, if they come, I fight. But I will not run, and I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called, released, 